Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. How long should I use crutches? Well, that's a million dollar question. And that's what we're talking about today on the Doc on the Run podcast. Today's episode actually comes from a question that someone posted in the comments on one of the YouTube videos I put up where I was actually talking about how sometimes I will recommend people use crutches for a short period of time, not months, not many weeks, but a short period of time to try to accelerate the process of healing certain overtraining injuries. And in the comments, someone posted and said, how long would you use crutches for this and whatever the condition was. And truthfully, I don't even remember which condition he was talking about. Well, the first thing is, is that I wouldn't use crutches. You would use crutches, not me, because I didn't get injured. And so really what this patient is asking is, what would your recommendation be to me? And I do not provide medical advice to somebody that just says, how long should I use crutches? Because I don't know anything about your injury. And I don't do fixed timelines for anybody because I don't think it makes any sense. That's the whole point of this entire podcast. Now, you have to realize that, and all kidding aside, what I would do is I would say you have to use the crutches until that tissue that is injured is strong enough to continue to healing without using the crutches. And I know you're going to think that's a nonsense answer, but it's absolutely not. You have to be able to check and confirm as you move along whether or not it is actually improving and whether or not the tissue is getting stronger and whether or not you're moving toward healing or not. Now, if you use crutches until it is okay for you to get off of the crutches and, you know, and you've confirmed somehow that it is actually acceptable for you to get off the crutches and we think that you're going to continue to heal even if you're walking like protected in a fractured walking boot or something, you have to realize that that is not you're not going to stay on the crutches long enough till you till it's time for you to run. And if your doctor takes you off of crutches and then says, "Congratulations, your fractures all healed, your tendons all better, you're done with the crutches, you can go run just to let pain be your guide." That doctor waited way 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 too long to get off the crutches because there's an interim step at every one of these phases of healing that makes sense. When you get off the crutches, you should be barely just healed enough that you can start walking without crutches. When you get out of the boot, you should be just barely healed enough that you can walk without the boot and without the protection of the fracture walking a boot without it getting worse. And so that's why I think you have to really be thoughtful about this. And you have to analyze it very carefully. You have to keep really clear numbers on your pain. You have to track everything with your activities. And if you do that, you and your doctor can make these decisions better. But that is what I do. So I don't have standard timelines that I will post as an answer in a YouTube comment for somebody I do not know and don't know anything about their history because it makes no more sense than your doctor telling you that it's going to take you a year to heal or 12 weeks to heal or something else just because that's what everybody supposedly heals when they walk into their office. It doesn't make any sense. Be thoughtful about this. Think about what it really means in terms of the amount of stress and strain on that tissue and you can make a whole lot better choices as you progress through the injury. Now, if you like this episode, please like it, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next training. Listen, no matter where you are in your running injury recovery, if you feel stuck, if you're losing your running fitness, if you're confused about what you should do next, I created something for you that can really help if you're recovering from an injury, you know you're getting weaker, you wanna get stronger, and you don't wanna get left behind. You've got to take the running injury quiz to help you figure out exactly what's needed to speed up your running injury recovery wherever you are in that process right now. I promise it's going to give you some things that you can think about that you can actually be doing differently based on your unique circumstances right now. you got to go check it out, go through the quiz, and I promise it'll help you. You can get it free. It's at docontherun.com slash quiz. So go check it out now. DocOnTheRun.com slash quiz. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.